You can level up the sound design of any sound using any synth in any genre. This trick will take your sound from two dimensions to three dimensions or even four. Once I learned how to do this trick, it totally opened up the world of sound design for me. So that's why I'm really excited to share it with you today. By the way, you don't have to be a sound design wizard to try this either. So if any of the language I use here sounds scary, please keep watching. I promise it's not scary. It's really simple. Modulate a modulator with another modulator. Let me break down exactly what that means. A modulator is simply an element in a synthesizer that changes some other element over time. LFOs, envelopes, these are also sometimes called sources. So for example, an LFO can be applied to the pitch of an oscillator. In this example, the LFO is the modulation source and the pitch is the modulation target. This is all that we mean by modulation. Many synthesizers have a modulation matrix which lays this out visually. Ableton's wavetable synth, for example, gives us a grid to visually represent the modulation matrix. Across the x-axis are all of the modulation sources and across the y-axis are the modulation targets. Then you just assign an amount and a direction inside one of the cells where the source and the target meet up and there you go you've got yourself some modulation going baby. But we can level up the sound design by modulating a modulator with another modulator. Let's say we want to modulate the pitch of a sound using an LFO. Now the sound is doing something, right? But it does sound a little two-dimensional. However, we can take this up to the third dimension by modulating that modulator with another modulator. So we can add another LFO and assign the target of that LFO to be the rate in LFO number one. Now LFO number two is modulating the rate of LFO number one, which is modulating the pitch of the oscillator. Do you see how this takes the sound design to another level? Now we have a modulator modulating a modulator. Okay, let's say we want envelope one to control the filter frequency. But we can add even more dynamics to this sound by adding an LFO to modulate the decay time on the envelope. So we're using an LFO to modulate the envelope, which is modulating the cutoff frequency. We can even combine some of these things with MIDI modulation. But now we're entering the fourth dimension, so make sure you strap in for this one. Try assigning the velocity as the source to the LFO rate in the first example. This means that the velocity with which you strike a MIDI note will determine the rate of the LFO modulating the rate of LFO number one, which is modulating the pitch of the oscillator. Again, you don't have to be a pro sound designer to try this technique. Try it on a preset, see if it takes something from two dimensions to three dimensions. I think it will. Am I still streaming? All right, let's wrap this up. This this little trick really opened up the world of sound design for me, so I hope it helps you as well. And if you want to get into drum sound design, check out this video in which I talk about how to create an 808 style cowbell with Serum. If you're not yet a subscriber, you can subscribe by clicking right here. Thanks so much for joining us today. See you next time.